Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with Down to Earth Astronomy. Last time we managed to get our first Kerbal on the moon, and today it is time to begin to expand our uh, satellite network. Oh, well, maybe it's not going to be that much satellite today as it's going to be a lot of other things, because we're just going to quickly exit out here. Of course, I'm playing the game without the available surface stations. That means that we only have the space center. So my thoughts are to ensure a good coverage. What I could do is to always just put satellites, but it's next to impossible to get them into a perfect orbit so they will over time drift. So to ensure that I at least have some kind of, um, of good coverage at most time, at least have something that's spread out, I'm planning to build my own surface stations, mainly something at the North Pole, probably something at the South Pole, maybe something at the opposite side of the planet as well. I will see how many I end up um, setting up. But of course, that means that we have to design a surface outpost, like a small, thinking like a small probe that we can basically just land and just sit there and be self-sustainable. Um, I'm planning to build it around one of those probe bodies as we have here. Um, and I've, I have put a little bit of thought into it. Oh, this is... Okay, nice. Um, so I'm thinking that we probably want a big antenna. I know this is probably overkill. Because this network is mainly going to be communicating within the, um, the Kerbin sphere of influence. And if we want to go into the planetary and go longer range, we'll put a relay station up further out. And it will probably serve as the base of a uh, space station that we're going to build later on. But the plan is to have a very um, good coverage within uh, Kerbin's sphere of influence and then uh, build a station with bigger antennas as we get access to them. So we definitely got to put one of these on and can we just for fun, will it allow us to, I'm thinking a smaller antenna that doesn't require as much power might be a good idea. I don't know, at least if we have this one on, that should be plenty. We're going to need some power source. So let's get ourselves some that's not power, that's thermal. Uh, here we go. Uh, let's get ourselves some solar panels. And let's go and put those on with four way symmetry. That means when we fold these out, doot, there we go. Look at that. And that's then going to be sitting somewhere on the surface, uh, surface of Kerbin. Let's retract those again. And hopefully, it will be able to have enough power. So that should, I mean, probably it doesn't have legs right now. So. It probably needs some power, I'm not sure how much power it's going to need, but let's just, for good measures, let's put, actually can we, if we do like this, and then like, yes. Now we're talking, and then we can still expand these. Yeah. Probably overdone it a little bit with the batteries, but we'll have to, it'll probably be okay. And then some landing gear. Uh, Landing struts. That looks pretty good. Could we do with smaller ones? What about the micro landing struts? They would probably be sufficient, I guess. So, and if those starts retracted. See, that's a pretty compact little thing. And the idea is we can take these. We'll figure out how. But we'll take these and we'll then plant these somewhere on the surface. We will uh, That's not it. And then we'll expand these and they will just be standing there on the surface as a small relay antenna. I'm hoping that the antennas can actually communicate with more than one target at the same time. Which is why I originally wanted a uh, some communitrons on here as well. Which I guess we can do if we go. Oh, you know what? Just go two way symmetry in those. Oh, this is gonna look awesome. And then we're gonna tilt this. We're gonna tilt that outward like that. And that means once we deploy these look at that 
That's pretty neat. And the reason why I don't want to have four, we could actually go four way on these. It's just for show. You know what? Let's go four way symmetry on these. Uh, how do we do that? We do it like this, and then like. That looks pretty good. I'm liking this. I don't know if I like the red antennas. Let's, let's, let's scrap them. I don't know if we're gonna need them. It's a direct. So it does, it's not a relay, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I think that we're gonna figure out a way. Can we save these somehow? Um, we're gonna figure a way that we can take these and hopefully we can take several of them with us and uh, and move them around and get them somewhere on curb. Okay, here is the plan. Because I tried to build some planes and other stuff, didn't really work. And this is just gonna be a quick test just to see how this thing works. As you can see, I've just put the um, the relay station here on top of a very simple rocket. And the plan is to go into a suborbital trajectory, launch it to where we want to go. We might have to expand this stage down here if we want to go further. Um, plan just to go straight, head straight north, see how far we can go. If we can reach all the way to uh, to the North Pole, that would be great. But I doubt this rocket's going to be able to... You know what, if we put an extra engine in here, maybe we'll be able to make it then. It would be great if we could get one up there on our first try. There we go. Okay, our plan is to then go um, suborbit, but keep it very low. Don't go too high because we don't really want to go too fast because I'm not sure how aerodynamically stable this is. Once we get our, down to an altitude where we can begin to deploy these parachutes, we're going to deploy the drogue chutes on the payload and wait for those to deploy fully. Once they're fully deployed, we're going to detach the main capsule from the payload and then right after we're going to deploy um, the parachutes on the main capsule, which then hopefully should, um, uh, should mean that we could have the main capsule land safely and then this one will land somewhere nearby. That is the plan. Let's see. In my experience, there's no plans that ever survived first contact with a launch. So uh, let's have to see what happens here. Let's turn on SAS. Let's turn on the engines and to go north. Oh, that's south. That's north. There we go. And this is just going to be entering. Try to keep this low. Okay, we didn't even get close to where I hope we would have gone, but we did spend a lot of time in the beginning just trying to get this thing under control, pointing in approximately the right direction. We're just going to make sure. Can we say, like, control from here? Yes, so now we sh that should be our main module because I don't want to end up ditching the payload and then the capture just flying off. Um, so we didn't make it that far, the space is right here, but it's still going to serve as a decent test. It's going to be very low velocity, so it's probably good for a first test. We're now at altitude where we can actually deploy. We're going to do this early, we'll probably wait to, to a little bit later on a proper mission, but we're um, going to do this early. Let's turn SRS off. And there we go, just wait for them to... Um, to deploy once we get closer and we have uh, the drogue shoots properly deployed, we're probably safe to um, to expand the uh, the panels here and the landing gear, and then we're gonna try and see how this goes. And there we have it. At about three kilometers up, the drogue shoots are now fully deployed. So uh, let's get this thing ready for landing, like so. Extend the solar panels. Extend all of them actually. Allow partial. I'm not sure what that is. We're just going to say require complete. Okay, two kilometers up. I think it's time to uh, to deploy the main capsule now. So let's do that and deploy those parachutes. There we have it. Oh, look at that though. Oh wow, that is coming down rather quickly. We're falling at about 4 meters a second. Wow. 
how quickly is that thing falling then? And is it going to survive? Are we going to hit it? Dodge it! No! Problem is, those parachutes are pretty close to the center of mass. Okay, so that's a minor design flaw that we'll have to do something about. What is this thing doing now? Okay, it is looks like it is getting the right way down. Oh, come on, there it is. Is it going to survive? It's five, 500 meters below us. And there we have it. We landed very close and we did have one of the landing struts give away doing landing, um, which did tip it over on the side and I was resting on one of the uh, solar panels, which, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, just the, but uh, this needs tweaking. So um, let's get this hauled back to the space center. Should be just over the hill here. And uh, let's try again. I've kept having problems with the rocket not really wanting to point in the right direction. So I decided to try and add a fairing. Uh, about that, it's pretty much still the same rocket. So um, let's try to launch this. Gonna again keep going north. I want to get a little bit more altitude this time. Oh, I should probably say, uh, let's revert this. I should probably say that in order to uh, accommodate for the problems we had with the landing gear collapsing on impact, you can see I've upgraded to the bigger landing uh, gear. This should allow us to um, not lose our landing gear on landing. They have a slightly higher impact tolerance. And the parachute have also been expanded quite a lot. As you can see here, we now have these big parachutes that... And, and the four of these should be plenty to land. It's way, way overkill, but oh well, it's Kerbal. There's no such thing as overkill. So let's try to get this launched. I hope with a ferry that this is going to be a little bit more maneuverable. That it's going to be a little bit more willing to go the way I want it to go. And that's the engine cut out. Um, we are now beginning to return and we are actually returning fairly quickly. That's a little bit quicker than I like. Um, but I think we are down to a velocity now where we can safely... Oh, hold on. No, we are still climbing. So we should probably wait until we're done with that because we're probably going to go and begin burning again on re-entry. So we're going to keep the engines for now. And there we go. Let's actually wait a little bit left further. I problem is right now, it looks like we're going to overshoot this pretty badly into the ocean. So I'll try to see if I can bleed off some of uh, bleed off some of that speed. Okay, so the fairing made us way, way, way too aerodynamic, which is uh, a problem on re-entry. So we should definitely, we'll probably try to build it on a bigger rocket. As soon as we ditched the fairing, we were slowing down extremely quickly. And we can see we're now hanging here at uh, 3 meters a second. Of course, we are over water, so this is not going to be a uh, successful landing. But just for practice, we are going to prepare the relay station for... Um, I'll expand that. Prepare the relay station as if we were actually landing over land. Like so. 700 meters up. So we should be able to just move this into the same station group. Actually, you know what? I want a little bit of... Uh, no, let's, let's try this. 600 meters above the surface. And we need to remember to tilt us a little bit to the side. Why didn't that work? And there we go. I forgot to set the control from here. And there we go. Two meters a second. That should be able to land itself. So next step would just be to build a bigger rocket, I guess. So we can begin to move this somewhere. And just like that, we now have a bigger rocket. Extended the center stage, the core stage with a single tank and solid rocket boosters on the side. Check our staging one last time. Staging looks good. And let's go. Let's see if we can't make it to the North Pole this time. Oh, wow, look at that. The effect is... 
beautiful. They really, really up themselves in terms of uh, of the engine effects. That looks very good. Oh, that being said, we're actually going pretty quickly. Already up at almost ten, seven kilometers, eight kilometers, approaching. I want to get a li little bit more flat trajectory now, so we can begin to actually move north. Okay, time to decouple. There we go. And they are now gone. Let's have a look at the our heading. Looks good so far. We need to go a little bit more flat, I think. We're getting a little bit high. For my liking. But we're definitely heading in the right direction. Okay, let's get some altitude and let's begin to flatten out our trajectory. So here we are approaching the very square shores of the North Pole of Kerbin. And again, we're going to try to control this manually. I know you could use the uh, auto orientate of the ship because Jebediah has the skills to do that. But again, the payload we have is very tall, so it's important that we really, really try to keep it in the slipstream. Otherwise, we're really going to have a bad time. Let's see how we're going doing. Oh, doing in terms of landing site looks okay. Okay, I think we're just going to keep going here and uh, let's see how it goes. We'll be a little bit closer and we're ready to deploy the parachutes. Ooh, parachutes deployed. That means that we can now very quickly here begin to deploy all the solar cells. We don't have a lot of altitude right now, so we need to be quick about this. We gotta make sure that we have switch control over to the main capsule. All solar panels are now deployed. And we're gonna try to swing this to the side and then deploy it and parachutes right away. And there we go. <laughs> Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, let's uh, let's get this thing on the ground and uh, let's wait for the relay station to land. Oh, there it is. Look at it. Nice and slow. Nice and slow, come on, and touch down, there we go, got it, <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful, I love that, absolutely love that, <laughs> okay, I, um, I think that's going to be it here, of course we will need to put a lot more of these up, but that's probably going to be a lot more of the same, just shoot it in different directions, and uh, um, and land in different locations and then we're going to build up the satellite network next but for now i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did give a like down below remember to subscribe to the channel and until next time i will see you guys in space